Hi, I'm Will Shafroth with the National Park Foundation, and I'm joined by Alan Bethke, Senior Vice President of Marketing at Subaru of America. So Alan and I have known each other for a while, and, and I have talked a lot about our respective trips with family out to national parks, but Alan, I don't think I know the answer to the question, if you have a favorite national park or if you have a, a favorite place within a national park that, that you really love. Uh, well, that's a, that's a tough question. Uh, there are so many incredible national parks, and I'm happy to say that I've been to quite a few, but I haven't been to enough. I would like to go to more. I was lucky enough to visit Denali with my wife before we had kids about 20 years ago. And uh, back when we visited, it was just an incredible place to be. So majestic, so incredible, so wild. You know, the Subaru and the National Park Foundation have been in a partnership for a number of years now. Um, and, and you've had a chance to get to know more about the parks in that time. But tell me about what the parks mean to you at a, on a personal level. Well, they really do mean a lot. The parks are special places. They're natural and wonderful. And I find them great places to connect with yourself, with whoever you're with, and with nature in general. And I think they're really wonderful now that I have a family, they're wonderful places to, to take your family. And I think I learned that from my parents passing that down to me, and now hopefully me and my wife passing that down to our kids. Subaru is the National Park Foundation's largest corporate supporter. We've been working together for uh, a number of years, and Subaru has provided more than $30 million in support to our national parks. So, wow, what, why is Subaru so committed to protecting our national parks? Our interest in the parks really comes, I think, primarily from our Subaru owners. Our owners love the parks, and uh, they're adventurous people. They're inquisitive people. They love being outdoors. They love exploring. And they love using their Subaru to get to these incredible places. Our owners love these places. And I think what makes our owners so special is they want to protect these places. They want to tread lightly. And they want to do what they can as an individual to help, to help our planet. And our company really shares those interests. So the interest came from our owners. And those became shared values for what we value as a company. So... When we started thinking about protecting the environment, you don't have to go too far. You can really look at the National Park Service and the National Park Foundation as leaders who are protecting these places and making sure that these lands are available for everyone's use and that they're gonna be around for a lot of future generations. The Subaru uh, you know, identifies four charities every year to, to really share the love with and, and it's an important campaign for us and obviously a very important campaign for Subaru. Uh, talk about that a bit, about, about that campaign and, and you know how you guys choose the, your charities and what it means to you as a company. Yeah, sure. So the National Park Foundation has been an important part of our Subaru Share the Love event for many years. And I'm, I'm proud to say, even though you may not have heard it officially, we're gonna be proud to invite you to be a participant again uh, for this year's Share the Love. Wow. Uh, find yourself a car it is a fine idea, but but Subaru wanted to find a higher calling, something that we thought was more important and something that we thought was more befitting to the holiday. And our idea was really pretty simple. Take the spirit of the holiday, the idea of giving back to others and helping others that need help and focusing that within the car business. And so we created Share the Love from that idea. And the idea really is pretty simple. When you buy a Subaru during a certain period of time, six weeks at the end of the year, Subaru is going to make a donation of $250 for every car sold to one of four national charities. And I'm uh, happy and proud to say that National Park Foundation has been one of those four charities for quite a lot of years. In that very first year of Share the Love, Subaru donated $5 million to charity, and that was a lot back then. But now 12 years into Share the Love, our donations for Share the Love have reached $190 million, wow. which is just a tremendous amount of money as well. And so Share the Love through 12 years and $190 million has become foundational to who we are as a company, what our owners believe in, what our super retailers, that's what we call our dealers, our super retailers, what they believe in. And again, I'm very proud to say that the environment and protecting the environment is important to us. And that's why we continue to have National Park Foundation be an important part of Share the Love. Thank you for that great news. It's yeah. awesome. Thank you yeah, very much. Thank
eight years in a row for a uh, foundation and and uh, you'll continue to be our largest uh, corporate sponsor but thank you yeah you know how is share of the love important uh, as a way to engage with your retailers to get um, other their key, those key stakeholders involved in this overall process yeah that, that's a great question we actually have 634 super retailers across the united states and over time, uh, they have become deeply involved in Share the Love. They're deeply involved in uh, helping their customers make those charity selections. And we've also allowed our retailers to select what they call a hometown charity, which is adding a local charity of their choice as well. And so uh, the retailer is very involved, both financially and from their heart, emotionally. And... Uh, understanding what these charities mean, giving back locally, and focusing on these things that are important to the people who are buying cars from our retailers. I think Subaru has been extremely generous financially to the National Park Foundation and therefore to the parks, but you've taken it a step further uh, by sharing your business expertise to help ensure that our national parks are protected for future generations. And in particular, it's around the incredible value that Subaru has around waste reduction. And um, it always kind of blows me away that your, your plant in Indiana sends nothing to the landfill. National parks have 330 million visitors per year. Those people uh, both pack in a lot of waste and, and generate a lot of waste while they're in the parks. And so in some of these places are very remote in, in rural areas. And so that it's not like they live down the street from the landfill. And so they, yeah. they have to be very mindful about about generating waste, but also just the, the core values around national parks are much more around conservation. And so share with us a bit about, you know, what Subaru is teaching the national parks about waste reduction. The Subaru manufacturing facility that you mentioned is in the state of Indiana. And every year we can build up to about 400,000 cars in that facility per year. It's a lot of cars, but you're right. Every single year since 2004, that factory has produced zero landfill waste, nothing to a landfill out of a factory that can build 400,000 cars a year. And we're happy to say at Subaru that that Indiana factory was the first auto factory in the United States to become zero landfill. So Subaru is really, we think, onto something and kind of leading in this environmental space. Actually shared the knowledge of how we did it and how we do it with more than 800 companies in all kinds of industries, global leaders in every single industry, we share this zero landfill knowledge. And we wanted to do that because there's a higher order here. The higher order is that this information of how to do this could help everybody and help the planet. So we wanted to share it. And so back in 2015, as we were working with the National Park Foundation, we reached out and said, hey, we have this expertise and this knowledge uh, how could we share that with the parks and how could we help reduce some of that waste that you mentioned that visitors sometimes pack in or generate when they're in the parks. And so we started working with National Park Foundation, National Park Service to identify ways to reduce waste. And we picked three pilot parks. We picked uh, Yosemite, Denali, and Grand Teton. And since 2004, uh, 15, we've been working on that effort to reduce waste. It's actually under a, an effort that we call hashtag don't feed the landfills. And it's an effort to build awareness, to reduce waste, to improve recycling, and to uh, help make sure that park visitors know how to do that and people that are working at the parks uh, know how to do that as well. And so far, I'm happy to say there's been some pretty impressive results just by helping educate people we've reduced the amount of waste that people visiting the parks are generating. It's actually in those three pilot parks alone, we've reduced the waste that they're generating by 6.7 million pounds already just by education. And then the second part is the recycling and the recycling efforts have uh, gone very well. So, so far just in those three parks, we've recycled an extra an additional 15.5 million pounds of material just in those three parks uh, in just the time frame that we've been working on this. And I know those parks are appreciated and the partners that work in the parks are seeing the results too. Tell me, what are, your, what are the big plans that you have? Uh, what are you inspired about for the future for Subaru? 
in general, I'm excited that we're, we're moving from just, you know, kind of making cars that people can love to being, I guess you'd call it more than a car company, mm -hmm. you know, being something bigger, something more than just the product itself. And so that excites me. Well, last question. So anything else on your mind about parks or our partnership that you'd like to share today in closing? Well, I'd, I'd like to thank you first to start, Will. I'd like to thank you for your partnership and working with us and finding great ways to work together, you know, as a private company, Subaru, and, and as a public space that you manage. Uh, I wanted to thank you and your team for, for you. your openness to work with us and, um, you know, identifying how we best do that. And it's, it's really been a wonderful partnership. So I wanted to thank you. And uh, I, I think, you know, as we go forward, I'd like to encourage really other companies, other individuals to continue to support the national parks, specifically National Park Foundation, National Park Service, and to take care of these great places, just like these places have taken care of us. So thank you very much for your time today. It's been my pleasure and thanks for working with us and Subaru. Thank you, Alan. Thanks for the great conversation. And for the listeners, for more information about the work that, that the National Park Foundation and Subaru do, visit nationalparks.org. Thanks again. Thank you.